Welcome to my lecture online. In the previous videos, we've seen how speeding up close to the speed of light changes how time passes. In the end, when you actually reach the speed of light, if that was possible, time would simply stop altogether. Now, what happens to distance, the sensation of distance, the measure of distance for the person left behind on the Earth and for the person in the spaceship traveling at very large speeds, speeds approaching the speed of light? Well, first of all, let's think about the length of the spaceship. When the spaceship is situated on the Earth, ready to take off, and Observer B is going to enter into the spaceship and take off on a long voyage at a very high speed, the spaceship has an original length of 100 meters. But once the spaceship reaches space and starts speeding up and speeds up to a speed of 0.99c, we then remember that the Lorentz constant is equal to 7, and the way that then affects the length of the spaceship, as seen by observer A, the spaceship shrinks to 1 7 this original length, and according to observer A on the Earth, the spaceship now only appears to be about 14 meters long. If the spaceship were to continue to speed up even faster, the spaceship would continue to shrink. And in the end, if the spaceship were able to reach the speed of light, the spaceship would appear to have zero length. Now, what's interesting is that the observer on the spaceship doesn't see that happening. According to the observer on the spaceship, the spaceship still appears to be 100 meters long because the observer is moving along with the spaceship. And so in the reference frame of the spaceship, the observer doesn't see anything unusual. Time continues to pass as it normally does according to observer B, and the length of the spaceship is still 100 meters, according to observer B. But then when the observer B looks out the window and looks at and sees what they're trying to reach, then things change. For example, let's say that the observer is trying to make it to a planet, planet X, which is 10 light years away. So at the speed of light, 0.99c, or close to the speed of light, it would take about 10 years for the spaceship to reach that planet. According to the observers on the Earth, looking at the planet, the planet does indeed look 10 light, light years away. But what happens to the observer B in the spaceship looking at the planet? The planet looks a lot closer, just like the length of the spaceship seems to shrink to observer A, as observer B is traveling the spaceship at a very high speed. We can then look at the observer B looking at space, and space seems to shrink. The distance to objects seems to shrink as the speed of the, of the spaceship increases in the same fashion. So instead of the distance to the planet X being 10 light years, according to observer A on the Earth, and let me put observer A down here, there's observer A, the, the planet only appears to be 1 7 as far, or about 1.4 light years, to observer B. Matter of fact, as V increases towards C, distance to all objects in the universe appear to shrink and everything appears to become closer and closer and closer. In other words, as you travel through the universe at higher and higher speeds, closer and closer to the speed of light, everything appears to become closer and closer and closer. And in the end, as you reach the speed of light, the universe would be infinitely small. In other words, the end of the universe would be right in front of your eyes, would be right there if you actually were able to reach the speed of light. So you can see not only does time change, but distance, length and distance changes, again, according to the same equations, the same Lorentz factor, and of course, depending upon what you're looking at and from what observation perspective, things either shrink in size or things become closer relative to you. And that's how we know.